Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving yourselves as well as me being patient with ourselves. You know, we can be our own worst enemy, especially when we're going through some really dark, hard times. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable or not, I mean comfortable, comfortable or not, if you are comfortable, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel um, that the video is just giving you you know, good information or just good vibes you would love to share with a fellow empath or somebody who really truly needs to hear it right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and giving me so much love and support. It's greatly appreciated. It makes me feel so blessed for y'all doing that. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation music that I'm listening to in the background is called Manifest Your Deepest Desires, Law of Attraction, Let Your Desires Flow to You. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Going through traumatic changes will put you exactly where you need to be. And that is so true. You know, I know, you know, when I do a lot of one-on-ones, you know, I really feel for everybody that goes through things because it is not easy. You know, you are dealing with your own situations and with me being able to open myself up to y'all that takes a lot already as it is you know worrying about judgment and worrying about what people perceive of you but if I know I'm on the right path and I'm dealing with you know authentic empaths you already know that I'm talk talking about the real thing and it's just being able to let people know you go through things and it can be so traumatizing to where you feel like oh my gosh why did you do this to me why did this have to happen to me but it it always takes something very traumatic to stop your life and say look this is not how it's supposed to be where i'm going to put you through some changes so you can see who you exactly who are you exactly because it's like we can walk blind in our truth for years and years you know somebody asks you you know who is woke and you're not awake you're like do you know who you really are and you know even though at that time you know i'm still telling people about themselves that you know universe sends me towards and it's like especially people that i went to school with i'm just like Ugh, i don't want to tell them things about myself like that especially if it's somebody i went to school with but you know everybody you know, needs help every once in a while, even if they don't reach out to, you know, to somebody because they don't want people knowing, you know, the things that they're going through. They're the type of person that usually fights their battles on their own, but there is no problem with you saying, hey, I need help or I need somebody to vent to, or, you know, am I the only one going through changes like this? I thought, you know, growing up, people hated me or it was something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. There's people that are around you that, you know, they see that your light shines brighter. There's something about you that they just can't touch. And it can be creepy at times. You know, you, you know how when you're growing up through your childhood, you were different. You know, you stuck out like a sore thumb. People, you know, you would tell your truth, but yet people would get pissed off at you <laughs> when you told your truth. You know, you were probably named the black sheep of the family. I know I was, but it was just the fact is I always wreak havoc. I didn't care. You know, if you put me in a certain, you put me in a spot, oh, I'm going to tell you about yourself. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, she's so rude and disrespectful. But then when they seen what I went through, they were like, oh, now we understand why. You know, even though that wasn't no excuse to being rude and disrespectful. But we can always go through traumatizing changes. You know, I had to lose my mom, my sister, my dad, you know, my siblings, you, you know, things like this for me to be able to know, you know, it, there's nothing you can't through, get through if you don't went through all that. You know, when you're going through situations, you know you have been, you know, throughout your years, you have been through some traumatizing things that you really felt like, I'm not going to be able to get over this. I, I can't see myself out of this, you know, this dark spot. But eventually you did. It just took time. It took time and the strength you had to have patience. Like, I'm not going to let this knock me down. I'm not going to allow this to 
you know, take a hold of my life. I still have life to live. You know, there's sometimes that you feel like you can't go on, but there's always something that, that tells you you are not done yet. You know, don't give up so quickly, even though there's times that you, you get frustrated. You know, there's many a days I hated waking up in the next morning because I'm still in the same place that I'm so desperately trying to get the hell away from. But I know I'm not done with what, what I'm doing. You know, and being able to help people know that they're not by themselves, they're not going crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. Actually, you're a very extraordinary person. You know, it's just, it takes real, really jacked up situations for you to realize that. You know, you don't know what your strength is until that's all you have to go by on a day-by-day -day basis. And being on that path, you know, puts you exactly where you need to be. You know, there are some people that are comfortable being depressed. You know, I hate it when people are like that. I'm like, come on, shake out of it. You know, you keep pushing things out to the universe. You know, I've seen people on social media that work my last nerve because they keep talking down about themselves. I was like, yeah, if you keep saying this about yourself, of course it's going to happen. Or I have to just, you know, I don't want to sit up here and, you know, unfriend people like that or, you know, block them because it's just like they truly need help too. But it's just the fact is you have to be that person that sees that, okay, my life has more to deal with, even though I've, I've been, uh, you know, dealt a, a ishy car, you know what I'm saying? But that's not all the cards you have in your hand. Just stop focusing on that bad card when you have all these winning cards around it. You know, it's just like, you, you know, if you know that there's something that you're not you know, you can't exactly put your finger on, like, I know I went through this traumatizing situation, but where does it go further than this? Obviously, it goes a lot further than that. You know, the people that that I um, interact with, you know, I, I try to, you know, us as the because we try to have you look in a different perspective. Yeah, you'll be in your feelings about certain situations. You may not like hearing the truth because there's times that people tell me things and it aggravates the hell out of me. But then when I get out my feelings and think, you know, yeah, they could have said it a different way or yeah, they could have went about it but a different way, but they're being honest about the situation. You know, even though they might not have experienced that, you know, you have to be able to look at your situation from, from a different point of view. You know, you there's all different angles. It's just like that movie. I forgot what it was at Vantage Point. I love that movie. You know, and there's a big trauma, trauma if you want to put it as a metaphor. Every, everybody has a vantage point. You know, you go through a certain situation and there's five people experiencing what that certain person is going through. They all have their different versions of the way things that actually happen so you have to be able to look at your vantage point when you're going through things and know this is the reason why it's happened you know yes it's a traumatizing you know when you lose a loved one it's so you know I'm sorry for your loss if anybody's lost anybody well you know you have but you know that person that you have lost would not want you to be sitting in a world of you know hurt pain they don't want you to you know think about the bad times that you have you know you have experienced in life they want you to be able to look at the good times that you did enjoy that person you know the time that they were in your life and they want you to see the good things that you have what did it break what did this person teach you while they were still here on earth you know even though they're they're always there they just don't change you know they're different energy they didn't change it to a different energy but it's like when you go through certain things you have to be able to look at it in a different direction you know after everything settles you know you can't look at it when you're all agitated and stressed and pissed off and like f this f that you know i don't understand why the universe keeps constantly putting me through stuff like that you know i had somebody very close to me and they're like why do bad things keep happening back and forth to me and i'm just like have you been you know focusing in on negative situations too much and they were like well yeah you know I went through this and I'm just like oh okay well this is the reason why because you, you're not focusing on the things the good things that came out of this bad situation you know when we when we go through a divorce we go through a breakup you even if it could have been something very toxic or very abusive this person has taught you so much that, you know, God bless you to get up out of that situation. There's a lot of people, you know, when we're in abusive relationships, there's a lot of people that weren't as lucky as we were. Yeah, we might can't come out, you know, half cocked or lost. You know, we are, our elevators don't go all the way to the 13th floor. But when you have went through the situation, it's not for you to put walls up to say, I'm never going to trust nobody. I won't allow people to get close to me again. 
Um, and I've been that way. Do I took them walls down? It's just like you have to figure out in your life when people come through it. Yeah, you've been through this, but you you know what situations to look for. You know what red flags that pops up. You're like, oh, Jesus, no, this is just like that situation I came in. Even though you're not trying to keep reminiscing about that situation, but there will be certain red flags that will come up that you already know. Ooh, this ain't the person I need to be with. Or th this person can actually bring you blessings, and this is the person you're supposed to be around. Because it's just like if you're living that authentic life and know, okay, yes, this pain has taught me something. This pain has help me to grow this this situation has made me stronger made me look at a lot of things a lot differently you know you have to look at certain situations like that and know that it yeah you went through this traumatizing time but it gave you strength and wisdom of things that you probably would have never experienced or even know about if you didn't go through that so you have to really look at the situations that you're you, you know you're put in right now don't look at it in a negative state of mind you got to look at the positive pros that you got of this you know negative con that's why i always have to look at it when i'm out of my feelings about certain situations i'm like yeah i've been through this this and this and, this and that but guess what you're heading towards something very positive even though the people around you might be negative or whatever but you can't be concentrating on them you have to pray for them that they'll get out of that situation for them to be thinking negative and you know trying to push out negative energy towards people so, you know, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, knowing, you know, I'm sorry for whatever you're going through, but it will pass. It, it takes a day by day basis. You know, if you can constantly wake up in the daytime, even though you're going through something traumatizing, try to see the, the best things that you're getting, you know, from the last day. You know, what, what positive insight did it give you what positive blessings you know you can be grateful for that happened for the day or you know just ask for strength and patience for you to be able to get through this day as well so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video much love to you send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and you know leave me a line i would love a chance to get to know you and you know give me your insight or your you know your your viewpoint on how you feel about this video um you, if you're new to the channel i always give you a shout out um to ballsy halsey uh let me see and beat them back much love to you and i will see y'all next video stay blessed stay safe and be responsible for everything you do and i'll see you later much love peace and be wild